When it comes to paint corrections, especially on dark colored vehicles, every swirl mark, scratch, haze, and even buffing marks appear on the paint like night and day. I'm going to show you how to transform your thrash paint from this to this. The paint has been cleaned and clayed. Next you want to spray an IPA solution to remove any wash and clay particles, even wax, from the paint before correcting the paint. Take one final look at the paint before the sanding process. Start with 1000 grit sandpaper. In this video, I'm using a Merca 1000 grit sanding disc paired with my Rupees LHR15 Mark III polisher. Make sure you mist, not saturate the area you're about to work on. Also give a couple of mist sprays on the sanding disc as well and begin sanding. You only need to apply light pressure on the buffer. Allow the sanding disc to do its job. Move the polisher with consistent arm speed and use the overlapping crosshatch pattern while cutting. Don't panic about the white hazing. That's what these pads are designed to do. Give about two passes on the work area. You don't want to sand too long and risk them damaging to the paint, and that's when a professional is needed. Spray and wipe the area with an IPA to remove any fine remnants of clear coat. The area should be evenly hazed, not patchy, in which the final process will look the same. Next move on to the 2000 grit sanding disc. The purpose is to refine the paint and to remove the 1000 grit sanding marks. Repeat the same process as the 1000 grit step by misting the area and the pad before sanding. Use the same speed pattern as I did while sanding with the 1000 grit step to start the refining process. Spray and wipe down the area to check your work. The area should have a uniform haze with zero patches. Moving on to the 3000 grit sanding disc. The purpose is to remove the 2000 grit sanding marks and prepare the area for polishing. Clean the area and inspect. If you see any patches or defects underneath the haze, you may have to repeat some steps. But be cautious, because the more standing can lead to burning through the clear coat, and you don't want to do that. Now on to the polishing phase. Start by dabbing four pea-sized dots on your cutting pad and spread the product all over the area. In this video, I'm using a Meguiar's five inch wool cutting pad with Sonex Cut Mac cutting compound. Use the same arm speed as the sanding phases, but this time you want to define the finish with six to eight passes to remove the sanding marks and bring out the luster in the paint.
After the second pass, you should start to see your reflection in the paint. Spray and wipe the area with an IPA and check the progress in the finish. On to the final steps of buffing. This time you want to use a polishing compound with a polishing pad. In this video, I'm using a 5 inch Rupees yellow finishing pad with Rupees Uno Protect that finishes and polishes at the same time. After about the fourth pass, you should almost start to see that mirror finish. Now wipe the area with a soft microfiber towel. You don't want to recreate micro scratches after all the time you spent getting the paint in this condition. Inspect the final process. If you were to protect the finish with a wax, sealant, or ceramic coating, this would be the time to apply it. Thank you for watching.